Salutations, mateys. I'm your host, Captain Smashem, and today I'm going to be playing RimWorld, a story generator by Tenan Sylvester. Basically, it's a survival sandbox type of a game, and um, I'm just going to do a first playthrough. Um, I've done just enough research to try and not be terrible because uh, I don't really want this to go really badly right out of the gate. But uh, in spite of that, you might think uh, I was going to play it on easy mode. No, I'm setting myself up for failure really, but honestly, sometimes the best stories require a little bit of failure. So we're gonna pick Randy random. He likes to do random crazy things. Uh, apparently, sometimes you'll have, uh, rabid rabbits attacking. Um, horrible things can happen to you. Anything, really. Alien invasions, I don't know. I haven't really played, so we're gonna find out. I've done enough research that, uh, it's not gonna be terrible, but I also am not, like, a pro at this game by any stretch of the imagination, so it's gonna go... Somewhere between horribly wrong and pretty good. I, I don't know where it falls, but we're going with the random uh, option. So he uh, generates more random crazy events than the other two options. I mean, she does, you know, chill events and she's like the classic middle ground. I'm going to play him on medium and we'll see what horrible things can happen. I want the reload anytime mode because I don't know really how the game saves work in this and I want to make sure that I can save if I want to stop and return to the game later and we'll do that episodically so I'm gonna to try to release every day I'm gonna to try to release a new chapter of my colony as it unfolds or the story of my colony as it unfolds we want a big map I guess uh, a random seed works for me We'll go for the big map. They say the 100% map is not recommended. It causes glitches and stuff like that. I don't know. Um, and we're just going to generate off of the first thing. We're going as random as possible and keeping the difficulty at medium so that uh, it's not a complete disaster. We want to try to succeed at the very least. Um, I'm also going to take uh, heroes from the first set of uh, options that they're gonna give me and I want to plot my guys somewhere ideally near running water I really like running water um, so that's that's a town we want to take advantage of running water because um, I don't know why I just want running water uh, 50 percent agave fruit so I want to find somewhere that has berries yes berries and running water please can we have berries and running water we have growing year-round we're in a tropical rainforest sandstone granite and marble granite limestone and sandstone okay so we want access to as many things as I guess we can get our hands on it looks like the movement difficulty is two. I think that might be a bad thing, but... One point seven diseases per year? Uh, is there a better area? So like, the sand gives you less disease? Okay, maybe we'll avoid disease. Arid shrubland. Okay, so the risk for disease is reduced in uh, the drier climates. So if we go to a drier climate, and we build uh, adjacent to water, well, let's see. If we go to a drier climate and build adjacent to water, and that's a temperate forest, decent temperatures, uh, 50 out of 60 days of growing. That's a problem. So in that cooler temperature, we can't grow as many crops. Whereas this has year-round growing and agave, okay. So I'm thinking let's pick something far from anybody with plenty of running water. We want... Uh, 
year-round growing, reduced uh, diseases, and uh, animals can graze. Agave, yes, okay. So we'll call that, that seems good, arid shrubland. And we'll make farms there. I really want somebody who is good at shooting, cooking. Seems like we got a good, we got dealt a decent hand. Um, she's a good cook and a good intellectual and amazing at shooting. So let's see. We got uh, Scott is good at medical and animals. Amazing at cooking. Okay. Good at shooting. So she's one of the worst. A child spy. Um, seven medical. Nine medical. Seven cooking. Eight. Okay. Seven cooking. Seven medical. Seven shooting. Okay. That's decent. Um. I should really stop saying, uh. Oh, man. Uh. <laughs> Uh, intellectual and cooking good construction is gonna be important construction and mining are gonna be very important construction mining crafting um, I think a lot, therefore I um a lot. <laughs> uh, stop. Stop saying it. Cooking intellectual. A cooking intellectual. A six and eight. Eight and ten. And her skills are mining, melee, construction. Our highest construction, five, six, five, three. Uh, that's pretty good. He has a foreign construction, eight, ten. And we need her mining. We don't really need another cook based on how good of cooks they are. She's not capable of being artistic or social. She's neurotic, greedy, and a gourmand. Uh, caring or about animals, but a gourmand and a fast learner. Volatile psychopath, body purist. Uh, let's see what that means. Debbie believes the human body is limited for a reason. To her, artificial body parts are unethical and disgusting. She has no empathy. She is volatile. So if we have a better, a better miner, uh, crafter, medical. So mining, mining is where we're gonna have a hard time. Her crafting and her medical absolutely kill it she is the mining is very important if I can find it three eight okay yeah there really isn't a good alternative to her um, so we're gonna have an all-girl crew? I don't know. I feel like we need one guy in there. Cooking intellectual. He's a cook and an intellectual. What are his drawbacks? He's capable of doing it all. Uh, his drawback is going to be... Mining. We will lack a solid miner if we lose her. He's got a nice spread of skills. 
but do we want people who are well-rounded or do we want specialists? She's absolutely the worst. Poor Kiki. She's useless. I think that's all we've got. I think that's all we can do. All right. We're going to call that crew good. That's our crew stepping into this. Oh, gosh. All right. Let's pause this and let's get some things sorted out here. We have an existing building there. Uh, we could outfit that building or we can move elsewhere. There is compacted machinery. There are buildings over there. The first thing I want to do is um, get all of our goods. I want to get all of our goods out of the weather. This is just going to be a stockpile zone. We're going to put a roof over the top of all of this. And we're going to put some doors. I'm not that concerned. We'll call this... Uh, the type of building this is is marble. So this is a good building. Eventually we'll probably transfer all of that stuff out. I want to make sure... I'm going to keep these priorities kind of in check as they are. We have two decent construction workers. And we actually have three decent construction workers. Our best shooter is going to be Hokojin Jet Buraku. And we want her to have whatever the best gun happens to be. That Those do the most damage, as far as I know. And we want her to have this one. And Debbie is a melee, has melee prowess, so we want her to have that, that weapon there. And as a melee, I want her to, uh, to wear the gear. I want you to wear the gear, okay? And I want you to wear the pants. All right. So that's the first thing we want done. <clears throat> we have a good craftswoman, but we want to make sure whoever's the smartest, that's our intellectual. She's going to do our researching. Our best cook. Rares meals and butchers meat. And for right now, I would like to have everybody focusing on cutting down uh, plants that I that I tell them to cut. And we're gonna clear a a nice area. We're gonna clear a nice area for farming. So let's zone out a first we will cut plants. We're gonna cut all of the plants in this general area. So cutting plants will be our first priority. We have a need to get some farming going. And flowers, very pretty. Dandelions. Penelope, the dog. Training. I want to teach you to haul things, Penelope. So she's bonded to Jet. That's nice. Okay. And once all of that is dealt with, I want to We'll have uh, growing 
slash farming be a secondary trait. We just want to make sure that we have food covered. It's going to be quite the challenge. Uh, getting food in the long run. So I really want to make sure that we're covered when it comes to uh, farming. And I want to cancel all of these. Don't matter just yet. We want to make sure we get our farming area uh, plotted out first. I would, like, I don't really know what to do with that. Okay. So we're building a farm. That's, that's the first thing. We've got a nice little place with a roof on it. We, we don't necessarily want wood in the doorway. I don't want, uh, I don't want wood in this doorway. Okay, so that's selected correctly. And I want to put a door there. Not not that. Once we have a farm, I'm going to I'm going to build some walls. We do want a basic 4x4 four four type of a structure. And we build houses off of the main structure. And we'll put a door here. Put a door there. And we'll put a door here. And we'll do kind of like a little apartments thing. <sighs> Perfecto. I want flourish. What is the material we have the most of is going to be wood. So wooden floors are going to actually be our primary option. We also want to make sure... Okay, Debbie, you're doing good. Uh, nobody has showed up yet. Wood is going to be a, in scarce supply. So... It's going to be very valuable to us. So we're cutting trees. We should have enough potatoes and whatnot. Betteress is going to take precedence over cutting plants. Okay! Well, it seems like we've got everything kind of moving. The farm is very important. Construction is very important. Our best constructor or construction worker is a six. So I think construction should actually be a higher priority for her. So we'll have her focus on making certain that we have a place to sleep at night. And we'll let uh, the others know that chopping down trees and hauling things are going to be of a high priority as well. Oh, look, Jen's helping Jet out. How sweet. We need to get our housing structures uh, sorted out first and food at the same time. Once we have housing structures and food and all of our goodies moved inside, then we can start doing other things. It's going to be very important to me to also have a 
beds once the rooms have been built. So work, we have construction as a number one, cutting as a number one, um, and hauling is going to be number two for her. So she's going to focus on construction. They're going to focus on plant cutting and hauling. But she's focusing on growing above that. We want to make sure that we have a lot of food. So these are at 8.6%. And we really need to have a proper source of food before uh, all of that rations go away. Boom rats, they're sleeping. Okay. That's all well and good. Debbie? Debbie, why are you sleeping out there? Because you don't have a bed? Okay. There's a rat somewhere attacking somebody. Okay. Yeah, just sleep in the field for now. Everything's gonna be fine in the future. I'm sorry, Jet. Sleeping right where you were working, and I feel bad for that. Uh, but you really need to finish those buildings ASAP, my friend. I am gonna make sure that as soon as this house is done, there will be a bed. And as soon as this one is done, there will be a bed. And this one, I want this one to also have a bed. And, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of fast-forwarding to get to the good stuff. Alright, ladies, sleep. Is Penelope female, too? Oh my gosh. Alright, they're all girls. That's cool. <laughs> sleep, ladies, for in the morning, I'm making waffles. No, but seriously, I really need you guys to work in the morning, please. We're in desperate need. We're in desperate need of a great many things. So if you could please, please. All right, Jet, she's still sleeping in the field. Jen's doing her thing. She's hauling stuff back and forth. That's good. She's building and that that is how that cookie is going to crumble. And with that, we're going to pause. And we'll be back in the next episode. No recaps, because that's a waste of everybody's time. Anyways, that's it for this video. Stay salty, guys. See you in the next one.